Hi everyone, it's Justin. This video is part of the French series on my channel. My goal today is to give you tips that are normal and natural to French women, but maybe not so obvious if you're not French. It's about beauty in general. I'd like this video to help you understand the French mindset when it comes to beauty in 10 points. Number one, do not brush your hair too often. That means definitely not every day. It will break less on the surface, so you won't have that halo effect <laughs> and it will also get nuts and that's great to get the textured effect so the I woke up like this effect that French women are famous for and that phrase I woke up like this should really have been invented in France. Number two feeling good in your skin is really a concept in France it means hydrating your face with an SPF sun protection factor I'll get back to that in a minute it means hydrating your entire body with a cream or an oil it means using masks, face masks, regularly, but every time you need to pay attention to what your skin needs at that moment in that season. I use masks all year long, but then in winter I use more nourishing ones because the skin is extra dry. When I have irritations, I use a calming mask. When I am having impurities or something, I use a peel-off mask. In summer, I just need water hydration, so I use a hydrating mask. It really depends on what the skin needs. On top of creams and masks, you can also hydrate your skin throughout the day by spraying thermal water onto it. That's something that the skin really, really likes. And many women go to spas on top of that to get facials quite regularly, especially in larger cities in France. What I mean with this is if you're treating your skin well throughout the entire year, based on the needs of the skin in each season, then you're gonna need a lot less makeup. Did you know that I do not use foundation? This is my real skin. <laughs> I use blush, I use concealer underneath my eyes, but other than that, I let my skin breathe. I'm not hiding my skin, I'm not clogging the pores, which means I get very little to no irritations during the year. Number three, do not touch your face and wash your hands as often as possible after touching something in the subway, after paying with money all the time. <laughs> and if you can't wash your hands, right now, then you can use the antibacterial gel that you're carrying around in your purse with you because you have such a thing in your purse. I mean, skin irritations, impurities, stuff like that can be pretty much avoided by just not putting dirt and bacteria onto your face. French women pay a lot of attention to that. Number four, we do not expose our skin to the sun without proper sun protection, at least on the face, the neck, always, face and neck, and the hands. Those are very sensitive areas and the first ones where wrinkle appears at some point. So by always keeping those areas hydrated and protected, you don't just prevent dryness, you also postpone the first signs of aging. Easy win. Number five. However, aging is part of life, just like the body and the face you were born with. So no cosmetic surgery, no injections. Nothing that could take away the uniqueness of your features. I have small teeth, no, I have a big smile. And that's a major difference, you get the idea? Number six, make cleansing and your beauty routine in general a pleasure instead of it being a duty or a core that you wanna do as fast as you can. Take the time to find the shampoo that smells divinely and that you're in love with. Add salts or oils to your bath and enjoy your bath. Stay a bit longer in it if you're bathing. Add some relaxing music, make yourself a tea while your face mask is working for you. It's about forgetting about life and connectivity for a minute. You put your screens away and you focus on senses that you don't use that much otherwise. The smell and the touch. And that's something that we humans need as much as our eyes and ears. Number seven, look for the answer in nature. French women know which plants are good for what, and they will usually prefer natural ingredients over chemical ones. For instance, I own several essential oils, a full range indeed, <laughs> that I use for specific purposes. I apply the oil onto the inside of my wrists, just like perfume, and here, in front of the ears, where the skin is thin, so it penetrates and acts well. I have verbena, chamomile as calming ones, citric things like mandarin or mint for vivifying purposes and for instance I would never use a shower gel that has citric fragrances in it because I know it's not good before going to bed it has the counter effect of what I want which is calming down. Regional ingredients from all over the world are also greatly appreciated. Lavender <laughs> because of course I'd say lavender, almond milk, pomegranates, argan oil, 
seaweed, grapes, depending on where you're from. You know, each region has traditional ingredients and, and know-how. Why not use that? Number eight, drink a lot of water. This is such a simple trick, but you know, most people on this planet are chronically dehydrated. And it's really easy. With water, your brain and your body work well. Without water, they just don't. So if you're carrying around a water bottle of half a liter with you, make sure to fill it and drink it up at least four times per day, at least. More if you're living in a warm climate and you're sweating during the day, more if you drink sports. Two liters per day is a minimum. Number nine, you want to be a good version, a great version of yourself, but you definitely don't want other people to notice that you've done anything to your hair or to your face. If you look like you're trying too hard, if you look like you're trying at all, it's bad. <laughs> I've mentioned that in my video on hair and makeup a la French. You need to get excellence in nude tones. What matches your skin? Are you cool or warm? Nude and tone, tone eyeshadows and makeup in general. If you want to highlight on your lips or your eyes, then people will know. But otherwise, you need to have all the rest completely under control. That's a must in France. Number 10. You don't talk about your beauty secrets. It is a lot of work to look pretty without trying. French women do use lots of different products, even if you can't tell. It's a lot of experimentation. You are importing your argan oil from that place in Morocco. You're scanning the cosmetic shelves at your local pharmacy every month, just checking for new products and new ingredients. It is a lot of work. So you're not going to give away your tricks <laughs> unless it is asked very, very nicely by a very good friend. You know, some women won't even tell you which fragrance they're wearing. It's highly secret. For more specifically on that topic of hair and makeup in France, stay right where you are. The video will start immediately after this one since you're in a playlist right now. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. I think those tips are really quite intuitive if you're a French woman born and raised in the French culture. But if not, it's not that obvious, or is it? Or what do all women in your country do in terms of beauty? New videos every Wednesday and Sunday and you will find more episodes of that French series in the description below. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.